I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll learn what binomial theorem is. In general, binomial theorem a plus b to the power of n is equal to n c0 a to the power of n plus n c1 a to the power of n minus 1 b plus n c2 a to the power of n minus 2 b square plus so on till n c n b to the power of n. In a binomial theorem the number of terms will be n plus 1. You'll find that the degree for the first term decreases by 1 and for the second term increases by 1. It ends at n and the first one starts with n. The combination of these two degrees when you add them exponents will always be n. Now in our case n is 5. Okay. Another way or a short form of writing this series is also using the sigma notation. Let me introduce that also to you. Where, where r is from 0 to n and the general term will be n c r a to the power of n minus r times b to the power of r. Number of terms will be from 0 to n that means n plus 1. Always when you add them n minus r plus r it will be n correct. Now what is n c r? n c r is n factorial divided by r factorial times n minus r factorial. It is a function on the calculator also. Use scientific calculator to calculate it. Okay, so we need to do what is a plus b to the power of 5. So let's do that. a plus b to the power of 5. So in this case, if you want to write it in sigma notation, it could be written as r from 0 to 5 and 5 cr a 5 minus r times b to the power of r that is in sigma notation replace n with 5 now if you write in expanded form it can be written as we'll replace r from 0 to 5 and add all those terms 5 c 0 r is 0 so a to the power of 5 anything to the power of 0 is 1 so we are not writing it plus 5 c 1 a to the power of 4 b plus 5 c 2 a to the power of 3 b square so whenever you add you should get 5 plus 5 c 3 a to the power of 2 b 3 plus, let me write here, plus 5c4, a, b to the power of 4, plus 5c5, b to the power of 5, correct? So that is how you can write in terms of the combination coefficients, right? Now, you can use calculator, find these terms also. 5c0 is 1, so you could write this as a to the power of 5, plus 5c1 is 5, a to the power of 4, b, plus 5c2. You can use the formula or calculate. We'll use the calculator for the time being. 5c2 equals to 10. So it is 10 a cube, b square plus 5c3 5c3 so it is again 10 you'll see the symmetry right 5c3 is again 10 a square b cube and let's add those terms plus 5c4 5c4 equals to 5 a b to the power of 4 plus 5c5 5c5 is equal to 1. 
so we have b to the power of 5 so that is how we can actually expand as you can see here there is a symmetry uh, let me rewrite this to show you the symmetry a plus b to the power of 5 is equal to a to the power of 5 plus 5 a4 exponent right plus 10 a cube b square plus 10 a square b cube plus 5 a b to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 5 so what you note here is that 1 2 3 4 5 6 terms so what we have is 6 terms which is 5 plus 1 correct then you also note the symmetry the coefficients are 1 here right and then 5 they match and these 10 also match so the coefficients will match there is a symmetry in these expansions I hope you should appreciate these when you do such expansion it always helps I'm Anil Kumar you can subscribe and learn a lot we'll take a few more examples with fractions and negative numbers that should give you good practice thank you and all the best.